Hey guys. Please subscribe my channel. Today I will tell you about. What are groins? So move toward our today's video. What are groins? A groin. Is a stiff hydraulic structure, erected from the coast, in the case of oceans or. The bank, in the case of rivers. To disperse wave energy. Or to preserve the banks from eroding. By trapping sediments. They can be made of a number of materials. Such as rock armor. Concrete. Dolos. Tetrapods. Steel piling, and hardwood lumber. Purpose of groins. They are often designed, to alleviate erosion threats. Unexposed, and moderately exposed, sedimentary beaches. It manages, beach detritus. And keeps the promenade seawall. From collapsing. It breaks up the waves. And keeps the beach, from being wiped away. By longshore drift. Types of groins. They have different types. According to materials. Permeability characteristics. And based on height and functions. They are. Wood groins. Sandbag groins. Rock groins. Concrete groins. Sheet pile groins. Rubble mound groins. Permeable groins. Impermeable groins. Submerged groins. Non-submerged groins. Attracting groins. Repelling groins. Deflection groin. Sediment groins, wood groins. Timber piles, are used to construct wooden groins. Single row, or double row hardwood, are commonly used, since they meet the requirements. They have limited durability, although they are inexpensive, and effective in the short term. Sandbag groins, they are made of layered sand, or earth filled bags, in the shape of a barrier, intended for temporary, or short term use. A particular sort of filter fabric is placed behind the sandbags to prevent them from sinking into the earth rock groins they are made of huge sized boulders and it is more durable than other materials they retain a significant quantity of wave energy while remaining stable in any condition concrete groins reinforced concrete or prefabricated concrete blocks are used to build concrete groins it is the most durable and long lasting structure and require a solid base and suitable soil conditions. Sheet pile groins. Steel sheet piles. Are used to build sheet pile groins. Single sheet piles. And double sheet pile groin. Are both types. Double sheet pile walls, on the other hand, are more durable, and sturdier. Rubble mound groins. They are ubiquitous coastal structures. Constructed of stones, or particularly designed concrete components. Such as tetrapods. Sheet piling is used, within the rubble mound groin. To increase strength, it provide outstanding durability and stability. Permeable groins. Water can pass through the permeable groin. Although at a slower rate, it includes groin made of wood, sandbags, and other materials. It is appropriate when a river is carrying a specific level of suspended silt. Impermeable groins. Water cannot enter through the impermeable groin. Stones, gravel, gabions, and other materials are used to construct them. Because they are impermeable, and water may overflow, under peak circumstances, necessitating a substantial protective layer. Submerged groins. They are constructed, in areas, where the river depth is, exceptionally deep. Their submergence state, fluctuates with the river's, water surface level. Permeable materials are utilized, to build these groin, which limits flow velocity, and prevents soil erosion. Of the top section, non-submerged groins. They are constructed at a higher elevation than the maximum flood level they are often made of impermeable materials attracting groins they are constructed with their heads pointing downstream these are built at a 45 to 60 degree inclination to the bank because it is slanted downstream the water flow will be drawn to the bank where the groin is positioned the upstream side is subjected to significant attack by water flow it should be built with adequate protection, repelling groins. They are built at an angle of 60 to 80 degrees to the bank. They oppose the flow of water towards the bank on which they are positioned. The flow is mostly attacking the head area. So it should be constructed with powerful protections. The sediments transported by the river settle in the silt pocket that forms on the upstream side. They are more beneficial and commonly used for river training and embankment protection deflection groin they are built 
perpendicular to the embankment, and just deflect the water flow, without denying it. Protecting the banks locally, they are less resilient, and usually reflect, rather than absorb energy. Sediment groins. There is a significant, volume of silt, transported by the river water. When they are built, this slow stream velocity, enables sediments to settle. These do not divert, or reject the flow, that are commonly utilized. Advantages of groins. Longshore drift. Keeps beach detritus, from drifting down the coast. Allows the construction of a beach. Beaches, are both a natural barrier, against erosion. And a tourist draw. Enriched sediments, can be deposited between groin. To promote healthy plant development. And the growth of varied biological life. At the beach's edge. Because of their semi-permeable nature. They have long-term endurance. And the potential to absorb, some wave energy. Disadvantages of groins. They can be undesirable. It is expensive, to create, and maintain. Wooden groins, are less durable, and tend to reflect energy, instead than absorb it. It causes regions, on the downdrift sides, to lose silt, accelerating erosion. They can further, affect the shoreline, by preventing longshore drift. If you enjoyed our today's video, then like, and share, our today's video, and subscribe our channel.